In this unit, we are going to learn how to set up a Hack HMS model. Before we do that, let's see the data that is provided to us. So you have three data sets here. The first data set is cedar underscore DEM. So this is a DEM in TIFF format. We have another raster CN grid, which we created in the previous module and then we have an excel file called cedar observed so we are going to create a hack hms model for cedar creek this is the same watershed we have used before in other modules now in order to complete this unit and module you need hack hms so hack hms is a free software that you can download from the u.s army corps of engineers and the link is provided to you in the handout and the version that we are going to use is 4.7.1 so assuming that you have installed hack hms 4.7.1 let's go ahead and open the program so you can either type here in the search and open hack hms 4.7.1 or if you have a desktop shortcut you can use that so once you open hack hms this is how it looks this has four windows the one on the top left where you see the cursor moving this is called watershed explorer below that where you see the cursor moving this is called component editor and this gray area this area is called desktop and now that hack hms also has gis capabilities if you want we can also call this as map and below that we have message log so let's go ahead and create an empty project so to do that you will go to file and click new so the name that we are going to give to our model is cedar creek so c capital for cedar and again c capital for creek and no space let's give a brief description here hack hms model for cedar creek we will provide a location so i'm going to use the same location where i have all the data so this is going to be in c class hms so this is the folder where all my data for this unit or module are saved and then our default unit system is metric and let's go ahead and say create so after you create the model i'm going to adjust the interface here a little bit so i will just expand this so our map or desktop is large so once you create the model all you have is an empty folder here so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to bring in the terrain or dem data and to do that we will go to component and create component and we'll see terrain data we will call this terrain as cedar if you want you can also name it as cedar creek so let's keep it short as cedar next so then here we will browse to cedar dem that tiff file so click on the browse button so go to c class hms and then i have this cedar underscore dem tiff select and vertical units is meters and say finish now if you have a different dem and if it has different vertical units you can change that depending on the units you have so in this case we are given a dem that has vertical units in meters so finish And after you do that, you do not see anything on the desktop or map yet. 
but you will see this terrain folder created and then there is a cedar BEM here which again you will not see on the map you just see the name so in order for that to become visible we have to create the basin model which we don't have inside Cedar Creek so to create the basin model we'll again go to components so now we'll do basin model manager and say new so we will again name this as Cedar Creek and description is again basin model for Cedar Creek create and close the window and then you will see a folder here in the explorer window that there is a folder called basin models and we named it as Cedar Creek and after you click on that you will see this empty interface or empty window so now what we will do is we will specify the coordinate system for this empty window so it can pull up the terrain for Cedar Creek so to do that we are going to assign the coordinate system to assign the coordinate system we'll go to GIS coordinate system in the coordinate system window we have two options one is to browse to a projection file that has our coordinate system defined the other one is to use this predefined option we have used Cedar Creek before and we know that it is in UTM zone 16 north so let's go ahead and use the predefined option so click on predefined and then type we have UTM and then it asks you UTM zone so this is 16 and the hemisphere is northern and datum is NAD 83 which is what we have used before so select and you will see all the parameters of that spatial coordinate system and then we will click on set after you do that the terrain should show up here and in some cases it may not show up so if the terrain doesn't show up what you will see here in the explorer window we have cedar creek and if you click on this you will see the components associated with it and you can see right now the terrain data is none so we can go and change that to cedar and then it may take some time to just refresh the map and then you should be able to see the DEM on the desktop window or map window now if you want to change the symbology of this so this working with this DEM is now like working with DEM in ArcGIS so it's just another GIS interface if you want to change the symbology of this you can right click on the map and say map layers and then you can click on draw properties so this is again as I mentioned a different GIS interface so if you want to play around with some of these color ramps you can do that so if you change you will have different color and if you like something you can click apply and the symbology will change so in this case we will just keep it default and we will just close without changing anything so it asks do you want to save the edits and we will exit without saving the edits and close this so save your project so we have set up the HEC HMS model now in order to start the terrain pre-processing 
which is going to be similar to what we have done before in ArcGIS Spatial Analyst for Watershed Delineation and with Arc Hydro Tools. So for this unit, save your project and we'll do the terrain pre-processing in the next unit.